Hello, my name's Hemingway Jones, and I make videos about fountain pens and journaling for curious people. Today, I'm going to give you my top five picks for fountain pens that fit in with dark academia. We're also going to explore this aesthetic and see where it leads us. Won't you come along? But first, what is dark academia? Well, simply put, it's an aesthetic that centers around the beauty and the romance of intellectual pursuits. It often draws its inspiration from Gothic and Romantic literature, from classical music, from historical architecture. So I think you can see why it's something I would be interested in. It has a fascination with the dark, the mysterious, and always has books at its center. It's heavily nostalgic, melancholic, and often atmospheric. At its best, it encourages learning and personal growth, and often delves deeply into niche pursuits like hieroglyphics, obscure languages, and my beloved topics of journaling and fountain pens. Of course, you will need a fine pen for all that writing, poetry, note-taking, journaling, and research. Dark academia is a trend that has emerged in the last few years on social media that basically celebrates all the things that I love and the way that I have always dressed. You see, for me, trends like this give me temporary coverage for my eccentricities. And then the world moves on and I'm still the same, but it's really fun to share my world with people while it lasts. Handwriting and penmanship is central to dark academia and especially a dramatic flowing script. Calligraphic writing with a very expressive hand is held in high esteem. Handwritten letters with wax seals are cherished mementos. And there is no better way to write these than with a fountain pen. There are those that say that fountain pens are an outdated method of writing. Well, that may be true, but it's no less beloved by me. And it certainly is woven into history and literature and serious study for that matter. And so it fits perfectly into this aesthetic. In fact, as perfectly as it fits into our own lives. Fountain pens also require a certain level of technique and knowledge to master. Not to mention that they have so many variables and attributes to be worthy of deep contemplation and indeed obsession. This entire channel is in part founded on this, the world of fountain pens, inks, journals, and journaling, and everything that's connected to them. So which pens are particularly fitting for dark academia? My first choice is the Pilot Metropolitan. This classic fountain pen features a sleek, timeless design and is available in a variety of colors, many of which are dark and moody. At around 20 US dollars, it's a very affordable pen and features a smooth and expressive nib. Due to its price and performance, this pen is nearly ubiquitous at universities all around the world and fits in perfectly wherever someone is taking notes or drawing the capitals of a column.
another excellent choice is the Conway Stewart Churchill. It's a classic English pen with a classic English design, and it fits in any academic setting. Many of the academic traditions and clothing styles derive from old blighty, from regatta stripes, blazers, and tweeds. The roots of Conway Stewart go deep and wrap around the historical line of fountain pen history inextricably. This design suits dark Gothic libraries and drafty halls as if it were a pen passed down several generations. It's a perfect choice. Now we come to the Twisby Eco. This pen features a transparent barrel that allows you to see the inner workings of the pen, making it a great choice for those who appreciate mechanical details and want to know how each part of something works. It also has an amazing nib on that generous Twisby feed that helps it glide across the page in a continuous flow. It is a fantastic pen for any student of no-nonsense design, and it is easily serviceable. This makes it perfect for the engineering student. My next choice is a dark academia classic, the Mont Blanc Meisterstück. The Mont Blanc 149 may be the ultimate choice for dark academia since it was prominently featured in one of the foundational books of the movement, Donna Tartt's The Secret History. He reached for a pen in a cup on his desk Amazingly, it was full of Mont Blanc fountain pens, Meisterstücks, at least a dozen of them. Ah, uh, Julian had excellent taste in pens. The Secret History is one of my favorite books. It's so immersive and the characters feel so real and so intimate that once I finished it, I found myself missing them and their world. The book haunts me to this day. And to me, that's truly a sign of an excellent book. The Mont Blanc 149 is, of course, an excellent writer with one of the most beautiful nibs ever crafted on a pen. Its classical design is firmly rooted in the mid-century aesthetic and its timelessness makes it an excellent choice. It looks beautiful perched on top of ancient atlases, dictionaries of the complete Shakespeare. It's an absolutely brilliant pen that is, in fact, an aesthetic unto itself. My last choice for a fitting pen for dark academia is really a catch-all and that is any vintage fountain pen. Why? Because there are few things as melancholy as an old pen. Think of all the hands that have touched it, that have guided it across pages, writing love letters to sweethearts that are long lost, signing mortgages for houses that have since been rebuilt, birthday cards for people that are no longer here, signing checks for things they worried about that no longer matter, writing goodbye notes. Vintage fountain pens are a direct bridge, reaching back ceaselessly into the past. Ultimately, the perfect fountain pen for dark academia will depend on your personal preferences and your budget. There are many other great options out there, so it's worth doing some research of your own, and a perfect place to start is this channel. 
try out a few pens, find one that resonates with you and start your journey to improve yourself, to learn as much as you can and to research all those beautiful esoteric things that interest you. Keep your mind open and grow. So what do you think of my fountain pen choices for dark academia? Would you have chosen the same ones? I kind of think maybe I should have worked a Banu pen in there somewhere. But still, what do you think of dark academia in general? I just think it's an interesting category for a celebration of intellectual pursuits. So how bad could that be? Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you've reached this point, please consider subscribing. It would certainly help me as I try to get this kind of content available for an even wider audience. Also, consider joining the channel as well. We even do letter exchanges behind the scenes and you can't get more dark academic than that. It's a lot of fun. So I release new content every week and I have a live fountain pen show each Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So join me then, but until then, take care of yourself and we'll see each other further up the road.